emergency cell phone power. This phone is being powered completely by three AAA batteries. Not being recharged, but actually being powered. As you can see, no power. Press the battery in. Phone powers up normally. However, the phone does not particularly care for the for the batteries. So we get an error message. That's okay. And we just press OK. As you can see, the phone is now working. And we'll dial a number. Hit send. There you go. A working phone. Now, let me show you how we did it. Okay. First thing we do is we look at the actual battery. Now, the battery is labeled positive and negative. We've got three contacts. The middle one does not have to be used on this phone. Over here, there we go. I wired one to the positive and negative to the negative. That's all there is to it. Spike being hooked up to these batteries. Of course, you're unlikely to have an actual battery holder. You could take a piece of paper, fold it in half, lay the batteries out, end to end, just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to roll them inside. tightly as you can, put a rubber band on it, now you can connect the positive and the negative leads to this as another option just in case you're in the in a situation where you don't have access to anything but the batteries and paper. Tin foil is a useful option. Now, the entire length of this tin foil becomes the negative and that's the positive and you can put a rubber band over it just to play it safe if you should like as you can see this does in fact work So you can see this actually does work. If you should have one of these little flashlights, that's also a good option because a lot of people have these sitting around at home. And if you look closely, you can determine what the negative and the positive are. This is the negative. It's connected to the negative end of the battery right there. As you can see, the positive is over here, and that's connected to the positive. And it's got three AAA batteries. This works fine for many other styles of phones. As always, you're going to want to look and see where the positive and the negatives are. When you place it into the phone, see which tabs that would connect to. In this case, much like the other one, 
see out two outside two tabs and the center does nothing so we connect it to this outside and this outside positive negative